you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new so in today's video we have my what's in my baby's hospital bag video so i have filmed a separate video for what's in my hospital bag so if you haven't already seen that i will leave it linked in the description and up in the card but today's video is going to be dedicated to baby's bag so i have got a list like with my hospital bag for stuff that i am packing for baby so i have like i said i've got the list for my bag a list for hers and a list for my kind of spare bag so it's kind of what i like to call my free shit hits the fan bag <laughs> so if for any reason me or baby or both of us need to stay in for any longer than a night or so then we've got a bag kind of set by by the front door that my husband can just grab and bring to us so i don't want him to be stressing out trying to find certain things so i figured if i have a separate kind of bag already ready then he can just grab it and bring it up so first thing is first it's obviously not in the bag because it's too big for that but it's one thing that is at the top of my list because the hospital won't leave, let you leave without this a car seat so this is the car seat from our travel system um and this is hopefully going to be in the car as of today um so i am currently 37 weeks and three days so obviously she could come at any time so i want this kind of in the car ready to go so there is that there's also a little guest in there so i've got one of her jelly cat bunnies so this is kind of the smallest little kind of teddy that we've got but i wanted to um put that in with her i am going to kind of sleep with this for the next couple of days just so it's got a bit of my smell on it um just for in case she ends up needing to go into NICU for any reason or anything like that then i can put that in her little kind of cot thing or yeah or just to kind of just take pictures with so yeah i have that and then onto the bag itself so like i said this is her change bag this is from the brand baba bing um i'm pretty sure you can get this in a couple of different places i got it in that jojo mama baby um place i will leave a link down below it is fairly pricey for a changing bag you can get so many different styles and things like that i knew that i wanted a rucksack rucksack style bag so that is what this is so it has got the um straps to go on your shoulders and it also has these straps that go to go on to the pram so i've just left them on there just so i knew where they were so there is two side pockets the first of which has one of these bags in it i had one of these in my bag as well um, and it is just a like plasticky pouch thing to put any kind of dirty laundry or anything like that just so i can kind of try and keep it separate and then in the other side i have a little kind of coin purse with some change for parking so i tried to kind of accumulate over the last couple of weeks some change i know it's really hard to do at the moment because not a lot of places are taking cash um, and things like that but i went to the i had to go to the post office at one point so i just withdrew some cash and asked for it in change um, just so i knew that i had some for the car park there is a couple of shops on the hospital site which do offer like cash back and things and they do give you change for parking um but to save having to faff about with things like that i wanted to try and make sure i had some so i have hopefully enough in there and then onto the front pocket here i think this is actually my stuff in here i think that was all the stuff in the side actually yeah so in the front pocket i have a bottle of this um like cordial stuff so like squash that you just dilute so i figured if the only thing i have access to is either tea or water then it might be quite nice to just change my water into squash um, and obviously this is a really tiny bottle so i can have that either for me or joe uh, I have some Lansano nipple cream, not 100% sure if I'm even going to need this straight away but I figured I would just put it in there anyway, it doesn't take up that much space so I have that 
and likewise I have some breast pads in here um, I plan on using reusable ones but again like I said in my hospital bag with certain things I've packed disposable ones just because in that kind of environment I want to just be able to get rid of things and not have to <laughs> worry about bringing it home and losing reusables and things like that so I just have a couple of different um, pairs of again the Lansano breast pads so I know your milk doesn't generally come in um, until like day three ish um, but I figured I would just pop them in there anyway again they don't take up that much space and I'd rather have them there if I need them so then on to the main bag itself it just has the top open kind of thing like this and then you can kind of see everything so I have a changing mat thing I don't know if I'm actually going to need this or not but again it just it doesn't take up that much space so I'd rather just have it in there because then obviously it's wiped clean and things um so yeah I've got that that's actually from my other like changing bag that came with our travel system um which is what I'm using as like my spares bag so yeah I've taken the changing bag out of that to put in here just because it's a little bit more compact than the one that came with this changing bag and then I have so I have a packing cube with all of the kind of clothes and stuff in it and then the only two other things I have in here are a pack of nappies so these are the Aldi Mamiya newborn nappies so this is a pack of 24 hopefully that should be enough like I say I don't really <laughs> want to be in hospital for any longer than I have to be they don't want you to be in any longer than you have to be especially at the moment they want you in and out so hopefully pack of 24 should be enough but again I have um, some more um, just in case so pack of those and also a pack of water wipes so I know that midwives and stuff recommend that you use cotton wool and water but everybody has said how bad that is how annoying it is especially for like the meconium poo um, and things like that so I bought water wipes just because they are midwife recommended I think um, and things and they're the purest you can get apparently so I brought them I'm not going to be using baby wipes for very long I plan on using reusables but for the first kind of bit where it's a bit more tarry I'm going to be using them so I don't know I might put in some cotton wool balls as well I don't know um, if I will or not but I have those so then on to the like clothing and stuff like I say I've just got it in this packing cube this was just off Amazon I don't really recommend it it's not very good um, but I've got it so I figured I would use it so the first two things in the top here that I have is some blankets so these are both cellular blankets I've got a grey one and a white one um, just so I know that if one's dirty I know which one it was kind of thing I was going to just bring two white ones um, but I figured I'd bring two different ones and I have two muslins as well these are kind of small to medium sized ones again I've just got one plain white one and one white with little hearts on again just so I know if one's dirty I know which one it was kind of thing I don't know obviously if she's going to be like a sicky baby or anything like that um so I just figured I'd bring two just so I've got them um it's not the end of the world if I don't use them on to the clothes I have so I've got three tiny baby vests and these are up to five pounds so I've kept them in the actual packet that they came in just so I kind of knew um, which ones were which or all my husband did if he needs to kind of get something out of here um so these are from morrison's like i say they're up to five pounds i'm not sure how big she's going to be i think she'll probably be bigger than that but a few people have said that even though their baby was bigger than the size that it said they still fit so i figure if she is a little bit more on the petite side which they have kind of said so far um then these might be better than the other ones i've got um but again they don't take up that much space so I don't mind having them in there then I have four other vests so I have one long sleeve vest this was given to me by my grandma and I love it it's super super soft it is 
a size, what size are you newborn? So this is up to seven pounds, I believe. Although again, it looks really weird because it looks like really slim and long, which she's not gonna be. <laughs> so I'm not really sure how that's gonna work out, but I've got it anyway. And it just says, hello world on it. Super cute with little gray stars. And this also has the integrated mittens on it, which is really handy. So I've got that one. And then I've got three just plain kind of short sleeve ones. Um, I've got this one from Next and it's just white with gray dots on it. I have this one from Primark, which is white with pink polka dots on it. And then this one again from Primark, which is white with a floral pattern on. So there is those. And then I have three sleep suits again. I'm pretty sure these are all newborn size. So hello Luke. Hopefully they'll be big enough. Like I say, I don't think she'll be much bigger than this if she is. Um, these are up to 7.8 pound. So I'm hoping that will be okay. If needs be, like I say, I can get my husband to bring up other things. So I have two that are from Sainsbury's. I have this one, which I like to call my Weatherspoons print um, baby grow. And it's just white with a blue pattern on it. Very much like a Weatherspoons plate. <laughs> um, and again, these all have the integrated mittens on. So there is that one. And then the other one that is from Sainsbury's is this one, which is blue floral with some kind of yellow flowers on and stuff. Again, super cute. And then I've got this pink one. This is from Primark and it's just pink and white stripes. Again, got the mittens on. So then the last thing I have in here is just her coming home outfit, whether she actually will wear this to come home in, I don't know, but I just had it in here anyway. So I have a hat which I think is going to be too big, to be honest. It's not three months, um, but I don't know. It just looks really big. I'm not sure. It might be all right, but again, it doesn't take up space, so whatever. And then I have this super cute baby grow from Next. Again, I'm pretty sure this was in newborn or up to a month. Oh, this is in first size. Again, 7.8 pounds, and it's just like a really nice kind of velour-y um sleep suit again if you've seen my baby girl haul then you probably would have seen this already um but it's just super cute pink um all in one with a little rabbit on and it's just yeah adorable and then to go with that to kind of go on top like i say for kind of coming home um she probably will wear this coming home regardless of which um sleep suit she ends up wearing but it is just a cardigan so i'm having a winter baby and um, she's due in january so she might she'll either come in december or january hopefully not february um <laughs> and yeah so it's just a super cute little knitted cardigan just to keep her nice and toasty warm in the car on the way home pretty sure that is everything in her kind of main bag like i say i'll just quickly show you the stuff in my kind of spare bag um in case you are wondering so like i say hopefully we'll be in and out so everything that i have packed for both me and baby will be enough but if it is not i have this ready to go kind of by the front door so my husband could just grab it and bring it up to save him having to rifle through mine and baby stuff to try and find certain things so the bag itself like i say is a change bag this came with our travel system it's not the bag that i'm going to be using um as my change bag i'm going to use the one that's my kind of baby's hospital bag so yeah i've got this one kind of packed with kind of extra stuff so there's no real kind of rhyme or reason to this bag like i say there's a mixture of my stuff and baby stuff in here so the first thing in here is some cowan gate um formula so this is ready-made formula i plan on breastfeeding but if for whatever reason it's not going to work out um, and she needs to be formula fed and the hospital won't provide it i know certain trusts over the uk um, or over england at least um, some provide it and some don't um, i think ours does but i'm not 100 percent sure so 
I have it, I bought it anyway, so I put it in that bag. If I don't use it, I will donate it to somebody else. Um, but yeah, it has a fairly long life on it. I have a second packet of maternity pads for what me. Like I say, hopefully one packet that I have will be enough. There's 10 in each packet, so hopefully I won't need more than 10, but if I do, I've got them. And to go with those, I have some more underwear. I have five packed in my hospital bag, and then I've got another five here. These are actually slightly too small, so hopefully I won't need them. Um, but if I do, they'll they'll do the job. They'll be a little bit tight on the leg, I think, but other than that, they'll be fine. I have a spare flannel for, again, if I need to stay in any longer, I can just use this as a face cloth or to kind of wash my body and stuff. Two more pairs of socks. And then I also have a few more packets or a few more sets of breast pads. The other stuff is all baby. So again, I have a second packet of the Aldi Mamiya newborn nappies. So I have one in her bag already. And then I've got obviously that one packet as a spare. And then I've got a couple of different I want to say outfits, but that's not really the right word, is it? I've got three vests. I'm pretty sure all of this is in newborn size. Um, but yeah, so I've got a stripy little vest and two that are exactly the same. These rainbow ones. And then I have this little sleep suit, which is from Primark, which is just a kind of botanical-y theme. I have this one, which I got second hand, so I'm not 100% sure where it's from, but again, it's just a pretty floral. And then I also have this one, which was second hand as well. I'm not sure where it's from either. Um, and it's just pink with flowers embroidered on it, I think. Yeah, they're embroidered. Um, and yeah, all of these have integrated mittens, so I'm not bringing separate mittens or anything like that. I have only got the one cardigan, don't know whether to bring a second one or not, or pack a second one maybe in this bag. But if you think I am missing anything, do let me know down below whether that's in my bag, baby's bag, or this spare bag, and I will be sure to add it in. So this is obviously my first baby, so I don't really know if I've underpacked, overpacked, or what really. So if you think I maybe have, do let me know down below and I will be sure to kind of add in anything else. I still hopefully have enough time that this video is going to go up when I'm around 38 weeks. So I'm hoping I won't have had it by then and I still have time to add anything should I need to. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because there'll be lots of kind of baby mummy kind of content coming up very soon. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.